So guys, we're going to have a little bit of discussion about the Unite the Right. Um, I've got a few points I want to talk about with this. Uh, Satellite has a few things that he wants to talk about as well. Um, they're different topics, but it's all about the Unite the Right. So let's jump into it. Um, let's go through uh, the Unite the Right. So what actually happened? Um, Unite the Right rally was over the weekend. And reportedly 24 people turned up to rally. They walked from the train station um, to a park area um, under heavily police presence. And, uh, and then they basically left. Now, the problem with this is that because there wasn't a lot of fascists to beat up, so to speak, um, Antifa turned on the cameraman, uh, um, I think it was from CNN or CNBC, I think it was, one of those stations, uh, turned on the cameraman, attacked the cameraman, they've also attacked the police, um, and yeah, basically just caused problems. Um, so at the end of the day, it was a good way for the people that did the Unite the Right to basically go through and to show the left for who they were, which is what your theory was, if you want to say, yeah. Yeah, so uh, my theory is that the whole purpose from the beginning yep. was to make a honeypot protest or, or rally, whatever you want to call it. So mm. Unite the Right, they have like 20, 24 guys who show up mm. just, just to attract attention. Mm. They announced it everywhere and so on. What happened, and I reckon this was on purpose, is what, what Unite the Right wanted, mm. is hundreds of these lefty protesters show mm. up attack a cameraman the mainstream media actually talked about it and also they put the camera on various lefty protesters who just said dumb shit on television it was fantastic this is exactly how they should do it from now on in fact i believe that they should do more of these types of things because every time okay they announce they're going to do a rally mm. and hundreds of these lefties show up Mm. It costs the police a ton of money. Mm. It causes a whole lot of mainstream media attention mm. on these. And honestly, you can only win by that because at the end of the day, proven over and over, where we've spoken about it with Milo in Australia and everything, it's always the left who cause a huge amount of uh, resource loss around police presence. True. So, yeah, I, I think this is something that, was it Sticks or someone was saying, that he reckons that they should go through and actually have a Unite the Rally, Unite the Right rally every weekend um, and just have nobody mm -hmm. from the right turn up. So that's similar to what you're saying, is just go through, organise all these protests, have the left turn up. When nobody turns up to, to, to rally, um, they're going to fight the police mm -hmm. or the cameraman because they're all worked up. And it would show the, yeah. the left to be the violent thugs that they really are. Um, you'd only be able to do it a few times before the left would stop stop turning up. And then guess what happens? Next time that the right actually wants to hold something for real, or they want to have mm. events True. like in Australia where they you know do events, mm. they're not going to be turning up anywhere near as often, or maybe even in far less numbers. Because True. how many times are they going to respond to Cry Wolf? True, they wouldn't know. And look, at the end of the day, you could go through and then the next time after that, have a rally and actually have 20 people turn up or whatever and then have them skip for yeah. another four. You, you could just literally have it like a like a, like a the shell game. Um, and, you know, yeah. are we going to turn up? Yeah. Are we going to turn up? Are we not going to turn up? Are we going to turn up? You're not going to turn up. And you could literally have the left spinning around in circles. Um... That that would be a definitely <laughs> yeah. that would be a definite interest a d interesting a, a point of view and yeah it would work it would definitely screw the left over that's for sure um, now at the yeah. end of the day I, I find it, it, it would waste a lot of money it would waste True. a lot of money from the police from Soros from mainstream media they'll stop probably covering things altogether if there's just never anything worthwhile um, mm. it, it just it ruins everything. Mm. Well, this is the thing, and this is where it gets a little interesting, because Como from CNN has defended Antifa attacks on press and public and police, saying fighting hate is right. So Monday's CNN, uh, Cuomo primetime host Chris Como 
defended members of Antifa's violent altercations with law enforcement and journalists over the weekend. Cromo said, two wrongs is what is what is right. It's been a year since Heather Heyer was killed for standing up to hate. Our thoughts still go to her family. We know what happened with racial tensions nationwide after that. Um, and after this weekend was built around two, Unite the Right, the sequel. Organizers plan the organize in Washington, D.C. This time, but the turnout was the white supremacists was thankfully pathetic. Uh, which is why I didn't have to cover it. Um, only a couple of dozen showed up. Proof that they've, members they've lost membership? No, they're still online. They're still a force online, but they don't have the guts to show up. That's good. Counter protesters did. They were good numbers of them. Vast majority were peaceful, but peppered in the crowd were members of anti fascists that covered their faces, confronted police, and beat journalists. That's what wrong. He continued. Now, now that you hear it, uh, sorry. Now that you've heard, now you've been hearing it. There's a lot of about what and spin going on. So-called all argues of some common understanding. The protesters use their voice, songs, slurs, but that's it. Talk. Unless you're justified in defending yourself and hitting someone, you're a thug. You're a criminal. You attack cops. You spat, uh, slap the media. You're in the wrong period. But I argue for you tonight, all punches are not equal morally. In the eyes of the law, yes, but in the eyes of God, good and evil, there's an argument. If you're, a, if, you're, if you're a punk that comes to start trouble in the mask and hurt people, you're not about any virtuous cause. You're just someone that's going to be held to the standards of doing something wrong. But that's something called, called out bigots and gets hot, physical, are all equally or uh, equally as wrong as the bigots they are fighting? I argue no. Fighting matters too, there is no question about it, but drawing a moral equivalence between those exposing hate and those fighting it because they both resort to violence and burdens hate, legitimizes hate-filled beliefs and evaluates, sorry, and ev evaluates, eva elevates what should be stumped out. That's what Trump did wrong last year. Um, I'm sorry, but he's he's wrong on that. If you turn up like Antifa, yeah, yeah, he not only is he wrong, but I don't even know exactly who is he talking about. Antifa. I mean, it, okay, so he's talk. <laughs> sure, he's talking about Antifa, but he's saying fighting hate, defending them, attacking police. Yeah. Um. So I mean, it's, yes, there's always a few bad police, but. The media and the police is the ones Antifa was attacking, so he's trying to say that the hate was in the police and the media. Isn't this guy a lefty? Yep. So is he punching himself? No, he's just saying. No, he's saying it's um. Yeah, I I don't know why he's. This this is the problem with the left. At the end of the day, they have to justify. They're insane. It. Yeah, they have to justify their ideology somehow. And to them, Antifa, uh, they're foot soldiers. They don't want to admit it, but the left's foot soldiers is Antifa. Antifa is literally part of the establishment right now. So much for being anti-establishment, yeah. but anyway. But that, this is the thing. They can't attack Antifa because it's their troop. It's their guys. It's tribalism. Yep. So them, they, they're like, well... We don't like the police, so we'll attack the police. You know, like, yeah, he sort of doesn't really. He did. He sounds like he's not trying to justify the police beatings or, or bottles or whatnot being thrown at the cops. It sounds like he's trying to justify Trump supporters, but he's ignoring the fact that they actually attacked police officers. Like, yeah, and there and there was only about twenty odd guys who showed up. Yeah. And they were peaceful. Yeah. In fact, to be honest, it's kind of funny that the so-called Nazis were law-abiding citizens. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I would say that's true in this statement. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Antifa were the lawbreakers. Yeah. And uh, the Nazis were the people not breaking the law. It's, it's like a clown world. 
Well, look, I, I have no love for the for Nazis or anything like that. I, I'm, you know, I'm, regardless of what right wing watch might write about me, I, I'm not a Nazi. I'm not alt right. I'm, I'm a centrist. Mm. I've literally said that many a times before. But you know, you you obviously got to repeat it yeah. in every video for certain people. Um, but what I was going to say was, um, they haven't written an article about me yet, but I'm expecting one sooner or later. Um, but what I was going to say was, at the end of the day, the, it sounds like the anti-fascists were carrying on a bit like a bunch of fascists. Oh, they do that all the time. Mm. Yeah, It's weird it's, how the, that the, the, it's, There's so much projection in mm. the left. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, obviously, well, my argument for this would be, is he inciting violence against people? Yes. It, it, I, I could I could hear those overtones, yeah. Like, can we report him to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube? Can we get him deplatformed like they did to Alex? He's literally incited uh, violence here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, you, know, you could report the left all you want, but they'll never get kicked off. Not yet. Well, if they start getting 500 reports an hour, they might. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, they go on about Alex Jones was supposedly banned for hate speech. Th this, to me, is inciting violence. This is clearly breaking the terms of con those conditions for Twitter, YouTube, whatever it may be. And thanks to Alex Jones, we now know it doesn't necessarily matter what platform you say it on. Other social media platforms will also remove you as well. So regardless of whether he said this on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever... He should be banned from all those platforms. Rules are rules. Yeah, it, it was Twitch who started this idea that if you are on Twitch, um, you know, your actions on other social media um, can have an effect on you being suspended or even banned on Twitch. Yeah. They started this. Yeah. It looks like the other platforms are trying to follow suit. It's a lot of crap. We, uh, we both know that. And look, I don't like deplatforming anybody. Um, regardless of who or what their views or thoughts may be, um, but that said, at the end of the day, you know, if you if you want to fight with these these rules left, if you want to carry on like this by deplatforming people, the you know a video we literally uploaded earlier today was about someone going through and getting a whole bunch of of uh, Stephen Molyneux received two copyright strikes or gui community guideline strikes for his video, for his videos. Now, at the end of the day, we're not sure if that happened on the left or if that was the right, trying to do false flags to, to trigger. But at the end of the day, anybody that shuts down freedom of speech, left or right, you know, I, I think you're both as bad as each other, to be honest. I, I, I think everybody should be able to have the right for what they say. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, this is what the left want. You know, to... Do, do both sides go nuclear or, or does the one side just go nuclear and get wiped out the other? Well, what will probably happen is if they do remove all of the so-called Nazis off all of social media platforms, mm -hmm. they will then instinctively start to eat their own because then yeah. they'll have, oh, well, the only content left is what they disagree with each other. Yep. And then they'll start eating their own. Yeah, the uh, the I can't think of the name. I'm I'm getting very tired here, um, but I can't think of the name. But yeah, the 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 Overton window, the Overton window will shift because there'll yeah, be no look, one on the right. We're already seeing fights between feminists. Feminists yeah. already fight. Like you've got the, um, uh, yeah, you have the 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 hard left feminists uh, going after the sex positive ones um mm. you also have the the turfs yep. you know that they they get attacked uh, so when they when they run out of causes they will invent causes to continue relevancy true yeah yeah um, and they will eat each other mm. I, I don't know um look at the end of the day uh, yeah I, I i don't know i i just think this is disgusting that literally going through and advocating for someone to be punched because they have a different view that, that, to me, is inciting hatred. That is inciting violence. And this is something that, that the media has been doing mm. for the past twelve or two years now. Um, oh, more than two years, but definitely in the past two years. And yet they go on about Trump, calling them the enemy of the people. 
what do you expect when you start pulling this sort of stuff? Yes, you you are the enemy of the people when you go inciting violence, you mung. Like, yeah, and and the thing is, is that uh, unfortunately the you know the mainstream media do a pretty good job of trying to incite violence without breaking the law. Like yeah. you know, you'll, they'll have one person say punch a Nazi, yeah. and then someone else is going to say you know call everyone Nazis. Yeah. Um, you can't then go after one person for trying to incite violence because they did it separately. Well, I don't know. I reckon in this case you could probably go after him for inciting violence. He's literally saying it's okay to punch people with different opinions. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's not that's not direct incitement. He's just saying it's okay to do it. He's not saying to go mm. do it. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, let us yeah. know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What's your view on this whole second... Unite the right rally. Uh, do you think it was a troll to get a whole bunch of leftists to turn up to go through and to to basically get get triggered and start fights and to show the left for what their true colours are? Or do you think that it was actually supposed to really happen and they only could muster twenty four people? Um, do you think that this is inciting violence? Do you think CNN what he's doing is inciting violence? Do you think that we should go through and false flag or not false flag because it's actually real, but flag his content when he says stuff like this should the, the right or the everybody that's pro free speech should they go nuclear on the on the progressive left the way that the progressive left is going on to the rest of the population do you fight fire with fire let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below if this video has been helpful please smack a like if you're new to the channel welcome and subscribe apart from that guys i'll see you in the next demonetized video from youtube have a great night and enjoy.